Hi everyone, my name is Tara. Welcome to your Power Pilates class. So this is going to be a full, just short of a one hour class. Now if you've never tried Pilates before, that's absolutely fine. I always think Pilates and yoga are kind of like pizza. There's many different kinds of pizza, there's many different kinds of Pilates and yoga. Today is going to be a Power Pilates class, which brings a little bit more of an intense workout component compared to some of your more traditional Pilates. Now, what do you need? I would love you to have a mat. If you don't, that's okay. But the mat's going to give you grip when you need it and softness when you want it. So a mat would be great. And then just comfy clothes to work out in. And then some water for any time you want to take a break. And that's something that's very important. If at any time through this class you feel like you need a break, absolutely take it. Alright, so now we're getting ready to begin. With the Power Pilates class with myself, we start kind of quiet. We're going to map out your press points. What are press points? These are the sections of your core abdominal that you're going to be working throughout the workout. So if you can't find it, you can't feel it, so we're going to map them out so that you know exactly what muscles you should be engaging throughout your workout. So, to begin that process, I want you just to lay on your back on the mat. So I call it sunny side up, eyes to the floor, just lay flat, hands down, legs straight out. Relax your shoulders, it might get a long day. All right, now the first press point is in your base of your pelvis. This is otherwise known as a Kegel exercise. So I want you to take a beautiful breath in and pull up the pelvic floor like we're stopping from going to the bathroom. And then exhale, relax. So breathe in, pull it up like you're walking into a cold pool and exhale, let those muscles drop. So I want you to breathe in You'll pull up. If you can't hold it that long, that's okay. And exhale. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Muscles pull up. Your eyebrows might rise. And exhale. One more time. Deep breath in. Squeeze. And exhale. Release. Now, I want you to take your hands onto the very lowest part of your belly. So this is right between those hip bones. So just put your hands there. Relax the shoulders. Second press point. And often the hardest to engage especially if you've had any abdominal surgeries. So I want you to breathe in and just try to squeeze the muscles under your hand. Now you'll just feel a little bit of tension coming to the muscle and then exhale, let it go. Breathe in, squeeze. Not a whole lot of magic is going to happen right away. And exhale, a few more. Breathe in, squeeze. If you can't feel anything today, that's okay. It's the effort that counts. And exhale, two more. Breathe in, squeeze. You'll just feel a little bit of a jump in the muscle. Exhale, let it go. One more time, deep breath in. Squeeze. And exhale. So now I want you to take your hands a little higher. Just around your belly button. Hands are kind of like a belt. I want you to breathe in and squeeze. So you're narrowing the waist, not sucking it in. And then exhale, muscles flare up. Breathe in and squeeze. Exhale, let it flare. A few more. Breathe in, squeeze. Like I'm going to punch you in the tummy, you're bracing for it. Exhale, two more, big breath in, squeeze, exhale, relax, one more for good measure, breathe in, squeeze the belly together, knit, and exhale, fourth press point, a little higher, where your ribs meet, so just take your hands just to where those ribs meet at the top, now I want you to breathe in, squeeze your ribs together again like you're bracing for impact, and exhale, let them soften. So breathe in, squeeze, we call this knitting the ribs and Pilates, and exhale, shoulders relax. Breathe in, squeeze, and exhale. One more time, breathe in, squeeze, feel the narrowing of that waist. Exhale, now the fifth press point, and often forgot about part of your core, your lats in your back, because your back is absolutely part of your core, absolutely it is. So I want you to put your hands down, Flat on the floor. I want you to breathe and push your hands on the floor, squeeze your back, squeeze, 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 and exhale, let go. Breathe in, push into the floor, squeezing your shoulders into your spine, feeling that squeeze in the back. Exhale, three more. Breathe in, push. Exhale, relax. Two more, push in, push in. Exhale, feel the softness run through the back. One more time, big breath in. Push, 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 hard as you can. And exhale, way to wake up that back. So now I want you to stay.
stay lying on the floor. I'm just going to start our music service with a little gentle music before we rock and roll. Now, this is a chance where you can turn on your playlist on Spotify. The name of the playlist is actually under the comments of this video, so you can access the playlist and turn it up. Alright, so you stay laying down, take a breath, this is the most relaxing part of your workout, so enjoy it. In breath. 
breath and out breath. So we're gonna go back to circles. Let's rest our head and our hands. Legs up, option bent knees, left leg circle. One, two, three, four. One leg and then the other. Now, even if with bent knees it's too much to hold your legs in the air, option to put the opposite leg down. And that will allow you to be grounded and give you a bit of a break. So choose what works for you and your body today. Breathe in and breathe out. One more each side. Now let's come into our second or first position. Let's beat. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze that belly. Bring in the knees, take a rest. Roll the shoulders, roll the hips around. We're coming into our single leg series. Ah, so let's give ourselves a bit of a rest here, a bit of a break. Now hands down. Again, we're going to stack our legs up above our hips. Option, bend your knees and reduce load. So relax your shoulders. We're going to do a leg drop. Now your left leg will lead. Go down, down, up, up. So bring it just parallel to the floor. Shoulders soft. Down, down, up, up. Now squeeze that belly hard. Keeping that body still. Now when you lengthen the legs, you load those levers. So make them as long as you can. But if you need less, just bend the knees. Great job, team. Now we're building up to a cyclone. So if you can, come into C-scoop. Bring fingers to temples. Shoulders relax. If you're still on the floor, that's okay. Now I want you to hold this left leg down like an L. If you need less range, lift it higher. Now we're gonna cyclone this right leg. Let's circle it. One, two. One, two. Now breathe in and breathe out. If you need less, drop that base foot. I want you to circle the thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel that intensity. Three more. Two. Pull it in, breath. Ooh, that was tough. Second round. Hands down, shoulders relax. Legs come up. Right leg lead. Two, two, drop. Down, down, up, and up. How are we doing? Relax through the shoulders. And breathe. Remember, you can absolutely bend the knee if you need less load. Down, down, up, up. Can we see two fingers to temples, chin to chest, squeezing rib down to hip, creating that contraction? All right, now this time, hold that right leg down. Beautiful L. Option, foot down. Let's cyclone. Left leg cyclone. Breathe in, breathe out. Ooh. Massive intensity here. Working right through the front of that rectus abdominis. Ooh, chin to chest, lift the shoulders. Create that crunch in the upper. Hold, breathe in. Ooh. Knees over hips. If you need to feet down, we're going to fire the top of your abs. Let's crunch up, crunch up, and down. Chin to chest, and down. Breathe in, breathe out. You'll be okay. Up and down. Squeeze ribs to sky. So don't lift with the shoulders, don't lift with the hands. Ribs to sky. Feel that squeeze. Breathe in, breathe out. If you need to, drop the legs. Lift, up. One more, up and hold. Bring the knees in. Ooh, roll the hips around, take a breath. Double leg series. Stack your knees over your hips, hands down. Now we're going to start with a scoop. So I want you to slide your feet down your mat and then stack feet. Reverse it. Sweep. Stack to 90. So scoop down, push away, scoop away, back to 90. Shoulders relax. They can't help you, so why do they try? Stack it. Sweep. Now add breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Hands flat on the floor. Now, if this is too much, I want you to be in a smaller circle or option. Don't go to the sky. Sweep, come to a 90, and then reverse it back to a 90. So lots of options. Sweep up, hold, sweep down. Now I need you to give me one more. Fire in those low belly muscles with control. Hold, arms come up. Now this is a stir. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows. We're going to circle our arms and we're stirring the pot of oatmeal. But we don't just circle our hands, we circle our ribs. Let's go to the right. One, two, three, four. Back. One, two, three, four. In breath. Out breath. Now circle that fourth press point. Your rib cage should move. Soften to the shoulders. You feel it build? Nice strong circle, shoulders soft. Breathe in, breathe out. Bigger. Bigger. One more. Hold. Knees in. Second round. Knees stack over, shins parallel. Hands down, let's scoop. Down, down, stack. Reverse. Now, if this is enough, you stay here. If you're struggling, then stay here. If you can, fingers, temples, C scoop, crunch into your thighs. So back, hold, and then sweep back. Now give a crunch to the thigh. Ooh, sweep, hold, sweep, crunch. Ah. So on that down face, I squeeze my ribs into my thighs. Big breath in. Big breath out. You need one more. One more. Big crunch on this last one. Hold. Rest. Are we ready through the pot? Yeah. Knees up. Option. Feet down. Let's stir to the right. Four, three, two, one. Remember the whole center of your abdominal circle. Now, if your feet are down, take that rest. Relax the hip flexors. If you can do more, keep it stacked. Keep that load in the lower belly. I need you to stir bigger. Stir bigger. It's a massive bowl. The ribs are moving. Soft elbows, soft shoulders. Let the intensity build. Let that burn happen. If you need a rest, rest the head. Keep the arms going for the beat. Hold. Scoop. Yeah, you can. Down, down, up. Down, down. Can you crunch? Now, option. Head and hands down. Come back to your first scoop. Option is from the 90. Scoop to a 90. So, lots of options. You need to keep you going. To keep you burning, I need you to create exhaustion in the abs. Down, down, hold. Stop. Breathe. Shoulders relax. Knees over hips. Can't stir. Last time. Crunch up. Shoulders relax. Bring this together. Grab that spoon. To the right. Let's go. To the left. Show yourself and you're at the end. Don't let it beat you. Hold. Relaxing the shoulders. Woo! We're ready to transition. I am. All right. So I want you to come onto your knees. We're coming into our plank track. So elbows stuck, stacked underneath your shoulders. Shoulders will roll into your back. I want your hips to be the same height as your shoulders. Push into the floor, chin down, create that long spine. Breathe. Now, if this is enough, if you're feeling lots of work here, then you stay here. If you can kick it up a notch, we're going to work stability training. So I want your right hand to make a beach ball circle. Four, three, two, left. Four, three, two. Now the key here, your hips and shoulders do not move. 
I need you to squeeze your ribs together to keep your body still. Nice strong circle. Four, three, two, one. Breathe in, breathe out. If you're feeling strong, come off the knees, but keep your hips and shoulders square to the floor. That's the stability part. All right, now from knees or toes, up to you. I'm gonna drop to the knees for showing. Left leg lift, kick out and in. Kick out and in. Now how far out? You should feel a pinch in your butt cheek. That's how far. Three more. Option, come off that knee, but I need stability. Hold. We're gonna change legs. Opposite leg lift, go out and in. Now keep the body still as steel. Kick it out and bring it in. Again, if this is too much, just hold the hover on your knees as long as you're doing something. Chin down. I need one more. And then come on to your left side. Make sure you can see. So elbow on your shoulder, bottom leg bent, square it up, toe down, side plank. So I want you to lift up, stack the arms open through the chest. Lift your rib cage high to create that intensity in the oblique. If you're feeling your elbow or shoulder, bring your elbow a little closer to you. Create that pillar. Let's pulse hip up and down. Up and down. Can you go faster? Can you go faster? Draw a path, pull up. Like there's a rope around the rib cage. Lifting up. Four more, four more. Lift down. Hold this up. Can we lift the leg? Now we're firing the outside of our glute or in our hip. Lift the waist higher. Change sides. Change sides. With as little movement as possible. Elbow on your shoulder, bottom leg bent. Square it up. Let's lift. Woo. Pulse. Up, down. Up, down. Relax the shoulder. Lift waist high. So we don't want to just pulse our hip. We want to pull the rib cage up to hit the full of weight. Now option, toe down. I got crazy on the F. Four more. Four, three, two, hold leg up. One, two, one, 
two. So we're working your bicep, your shoulder, and leading into the back of your shoulder. Maximum intensity with this move. Breathe in, breathe out. Are the arms getting heavy? Are the arms getting heavy? Hands wide, beat. Ooh. Chest up. Squeeze the ribs. Now I know you're probably starting to see terrible things about me. That's okay. I got broad shoulders. I can take it. I can take it. Now your last round of beats. Can you go faster? Can you go faster? I want you to lengthen those arms. You don't need heavy weights to work through the arms. Four, three, two. You want to be done? Yeah, you do. All right. Keeping your feet together in your first position. Hands to tree. Lift the chest. We're going to do calf lifts. Wake up your legs. Up, down. Squeeze your calves and down. And you're like, Tara, I love the break, but I thought this was arms. It is. If you feel like somebody snuck in and put 10 pounds of cement on the arms, you worked it. Squeeze your butt. Now you want to drop the arms. Don't. Don't. That's your training. That's your training. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now if you're having trouble with balance with your calf lift, find a spot on the floor or wall. Send the gaze. Shoulders relax, up, down, squeeze, and down. All right, we're coming into our standing. So I want you to come into a plie. So your feet should point towards the corners of the mat. And then I want you to sink down low. Shoulders roll back. Relax with the upper body, open the feet, open the knees. Come to your tree, I'm not kidding. Those arms are dead, yeah? Now find a pulse, up, down. Shoulders soft. Now, if you feel like your knees are falling in, come a little closer in the legs. So we load, reload. Arms come wide. Fast pulse. Fast pulse. Load, reload. Up, down, up, down. Woo! Are we starting to sweat now? Are we starting to sweat? Bigger. Bigger pull. Chest up. Up, down, up, down. Breathe in, breathe out. We're burning our legs down. Hold. Arms come up. Reach up, pull down into the strength. Feel that burn. Feel that burn. Five seconds, hold. Three, two, hands down, lift up. All right, I want you to step your feet about a hip width apart. Bend the knees like you're skiing and push your butt back. Arms come up for balance. Lift your left heel. Now you might want to do this on wood or towel floor so you slide easier. Push the butt back, ass tight. Shift the weight to that opposite leg. Big circle. So circle, tap toe. Tap toe. So slide in the circle. Chest up. Now where's the work here? Driving through your standing leg. That's where the intensity is. So can you get lower? Hold, heel down. Ooh, stay low, stay low. Do not stand up. Do not stand up. Push your butt back. Lift your chest, engage your trunk muscles. Now that opposite leg lifts. So I have to come a little away from the wall. Lift it up, push your butt back. Drive through that standing heel. Arms for balance, chin down. Circle opposite leg. Hold, big circle. Tap toe. Do not shift the weight. Imagine there's an ant under your heel. Push the ant into the floor. So when you push that ant into the floor, you engage that glute. So round, in, one more. Pull, heels down, sink low. Push the butt back. Arms front, chin down, pulse. Pulse, up, down. How far back can you push your butt? Knees in line with feet. Small. Small. Make it mean. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep going. Keep going. You're almost there. Stay in it. Down. Hold. Ooh. All right. We're going to come into the legs. I know you're thinking, what? Feet. Hip width apart. Let's roll on back. All right. So feet hip width. Come on back. Hands down. We're going to come into bridges. Lift, 
Knees in line with hips. Lift the bum. Finish that extension. Now remember those ants? Push them into the floor. Activate your glute into your posterior chain, the whole back of your body. Shoulders soft. Relax your brow. Now we're going to start with a small pulse, halfway down, half up. So drop your bum halfway, and then lift it up. Breathe in, breathe out. Little pulses, can you make it bigger, bigger, lifting up higher. Engage the front of your legs and glutes. Now hold, lift the heels. Squeeze your calves, lift the butt higher. If you need to, heels down. Claws, circle right, up, circle left. So circle your butt, round. Big clock. Now if you're on the toes, you have more room for this. Absolutely, you can do it from the heels. It might just be a smaller clock. Breathe in, breathe out. Now on a nice, strong circle, don't hit the floor. Down, squeeze at top. Down, squeeze at midnight. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeeze. Now I know you're hoping I say it again. Yes, hold pulses. Boom, boom. Now maybe your heels are up, that adds the calf. Maybe your heels are down. Choose what strengthens you. Push, push. Up, hold, heels down. Don't stop, don't stop. Can you lift the butt a little higher? I heard you say no, you always say yes, lift up. Yes, I can, Terry, yes, I can. Are you hating me yet? A little bit, a little bit. Let's go back to the pulse. Boom, boom. Now you're gonna transform the whole bottom of the body with this. Legs, glutes, abs, back, the whole thing. Now we go back to clocks. Can you lift your heels? Let's circle right. Squeeze. Feel the front of your thighs fire at the top. I want to hear generous breathing. Last clock, full at midnight. Hold. And come on down. Come on down. We're going to train our obliques. We're going to leave our legs alone for a minute. So fingers to temples. Crunch up. Elbow rock three times. Three, two, one. Hold. Three, two, one. Center. So you're rocking the top of your arm down to the floor. Three, two, one. Center. Hit, hit. So you're not lifting up. You're rocking to the side and squeezing your rib down to floor. So, rib to floor, rib to floor. Faster. Three, two, one. Hold center. Three, two, hold center. Crunch. Oh. Relax your hips. Rib to floor. Feel that squeeze. Three, two, one. Hold. Let's come down. Now level one for the inner leg touch. Feet down. If you can do more, lift the legs, open the knees a little, give yourself some space. Let's crunch up to our C scoop. Relax your shoulders, squeeze your stiffs, feel that contraction in the belly. All right, so we're gonna crunch up and then reach for the inside leg. So reach, center, crunch up, turn, center, crunch up. So you drop about halfway. Crunch up, turn, center. Can we go faster? Turn, center, turn, center. But I don't just want you to twist your body. I want you to crunch up and turn. Crunch up and turn. So you fire the front of your belly and the oblique by crunching up before you turn. And then show your shoulder. Turn your chest, not just your elbow. Breathe out, breathe in. Now, if you can do a little more, push the legs a little farther from you. And you're going to load more into that belly. If you're like, are you kidding, Tara? I'm exhausted. Put your feet down and just reach for the 
inside of the knee. You're still working, you're still getting strong. One more, one more. Hold. Just bring it in. Relax the shoulders. Fingers to temples. C scoop. Are you ready to rock? Three times right. Three, two, one. Center left side. Boom. Boom. Hold the center, chin tucked. So we're working at the top of that oblique. Grip the floor. Feel that pinch. 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 Woo! Now if you need a rest, if you're feeling just neck, take it. Take it. Pull the shoulders off higher and you're going to put more work in the trunk. Because we want the waist to work. So lift up higher. Last time. Last time. Three, two, one. Bring it in. Take a rest. Ooh. Shoulders relax. Man, it's getting mean. We're going to get meaner. All right. We're going to fire to lower abs again. We're right at the top of that mountain. Hands down. Stack your feet over your hips. I know at this point you're getting excited. You're like, yes, I was hoping to do this again. No? All right. So option, bend the knees. We're going to make it capital D. Right leg lead, drop through the center, and then come around. Opposite leg, left goes down, down, circle around. Right leg, down, down, circle around. Now I'm going to turn a bit so I don't have to wall down, down, big circle. Now if you feel that you're rocking on your hips, push the hands in, activate your press points. If you still feel a lot of rocking, no problem. Bend the knees. Bend the knees and reduce load. Option, C scoop. Come down, down, round. Control, down, down, Ooh. hold. Oh, take a breath. Now let's take the knees over hips, open them up, toes together. Hands over head. Now if you have too much work to keep your legs in the air, toes down. Choose what works for you. Open up, arms up, frog crunch. Come up, toes, down, down. Squeeze ribs into hip bones. Up, squeeze shoulders soft. Breathe in, come up, up. Something's building. Option toes down. Now I want you to hold the next one up. Hold it up, relax your shoulders, relax the neck. Let's pulse the bra. Up, up. So I'm not pulsing my hands. Rip to hip, rip to hip. That's where the contraction lies. Squeeze. Breathe in, breathe out, reach. Reach, shoulders soft, use the ribs. Four the press points, squeeze in, squeeze. Hold, beat it. Shoulders soft, hands down, take it up. Now are you straight up or is there a bend in your knee? Option yours. Right leg, D, down, down, round. Left leg. Can you see scoop? Shoulders soft. Abs brace. Now we're working the top and the bottom of the belly. Control. If you need less, you know what to do. Bend, reduce load. Hold open knees, frog pulse. Up, up. Shoulders soft.
hands under shoulders, scorpion. So right leg comes up, square the hips, flex the foot, chin down, shoulders in the back, let's pulse. Pulse. So flexing the foot to engage some calf. Now imagine the back of your thigh lifting to the sky. Like there's a string on the back of your thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift and lift. Chin down, eyes to thumbs. Now try not to kickstand this leg. Put this right hip out in the universe. Core stability. Then start to burn. Then start to burn. Hold. Now to come down to the forearms. Lengthen that right leg high. Chin down, eye kicks. Come down, up. Now do not bend your back. Do not bend the back. Strong eye kicks. Boom. Boom. Don't hit the floor. Shoulders soft. Kick. Three more. Two. Hold. Ooh. Hands and shoulders. Shoulders in the back. Left leg come up. Flex foot. Let's pulse. Scorpion. Now remember, reset the hips. Chin down. Up, down. Beautiful bum work here. You're carving and shaping your butt. Now one of the future videos that I plan is just a leg and glute hit. Just an inferno for those. Breathe in, breathe out. Back and thigh to sky. So pulse your thigh, not your foot. Use that imagery. Breathe in, breathe out. Now it starts to burn. The ones that burn, the ones that count. So we count now. Hold. Come down to the forearms. Sphinx forearms. Leg up. Kick. Kick. Nice long leg. Sky. Hip. Squeeze that left butt cheek hard. So pour in the back. Let's go. Shoulder soft. Now what's that ab work doing? Can we squeeze the ribs? Can we squeeze the ribs? Now that leg should get heavy. But we kick harder. That gives us more energy because we know it's got to be done. Hold. Ooh. Come on to the ab back for one more round of that. So let's turn over. Control the roll. Lower down. One more round of that. So now we're coming down the mountain. So things won't be as crazy. Now I want you to lift your heels. I'm not kidding. Or lift your toes. Fingers to temples. Crunch up. Shoulders relax. C scoop. Squeeze. Toes are lifted. Where are we going? Heel digs. Out. In. Out. In. Aim for almost the end of your mat. Now my body is still. If you're feeling neck, I want you to rest. You can still do heel digs. But you're going to have to really concentrate on relaxing your shoulders. I love a C scoop here because anytime you can work the bottom and the top of your belly at once, maximum bend for the butt. And I love that. Out, in. Breathe out, breathe in. Four more. Four more. Three. Last two. Now we're going to beat up those obliques and the upper rectus abdominis one more time. So relax the shoulders, feet down, I want you to relax your hips. We're going to climb a rope. Gym rope time. Left arm leg, chin tucked, up, up. Now relax your hips. Turn your shoulder as you climb the rope. Try to get the shoulders right off the floor and I never drop my head. Every time you drop your head, it's a lot of work to pick it back up. So it's actually easier to maintain your C-scoop. Breathe in, breathe out. If you need to rest, rest your head, keep the beat going with the arms and still rotate through the shoulder. Generous breath, inhale, exhale, big turn to the chest. Are you ready for heel legs? Yeah, you are. Go out, in. Now you've got to squeeze really hard to keep the body still. Out and in. 
Breathe in, breathe out. Who wants a rope? Feet down, let's climb. Whoop. Now, this is a big, long rope. Imagine the view from the top of this mountain. Now, when fatigue starts to set in, the body will give you endorphins. So feel them will run through the body. Feel that sweat, dig higher. Last one. Oh, one more working track. You're so close. Grab the back of your thighs, rock up. We're gonna work into the posterior chain. So I want you to come onto your belly. Shoulders relax. Legs up. Legs up. Shoulders relax. Chin down. Lift the chest, but relax the upper body. Now the goal here is to get the knees and thighs off the floor. If you're not there today, just do your best. Now let's flutter kick. Flutter kick. Just like you're swimming. Now don't kick your feet. They're sexy enough. I want you to kick your thighs. So you can fire energy right down into your butt. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeeze the ribs. Squeeze the ribs. Hold legs up, clap heel. In, out. In, and out. Squeeze butt, and out. We all like a little applause. Now this is one of my favorite covers of Paint Black by Gob. It's an older song, but it's great. In, out. Hold, rest the leg. Oh, that was me. Now, I want you to reach your arms back, palms to your thighs. Chest lifts, chin down. Rocketeer. Shoulders relax. Shoulders relax. Now, can you sweep the arms forwards? Sweep back. Rocketeer. So, forward sweep, back sweep. Squeeze, rib to bump. So I want you to feel that rib slide back to your butt right there. Four more. Fire shoulders and upper lat. Squeeze. Now lift the legs if you can. You can see mine are lifted. I find that better for my body balance. But if you need two legs down, you're still getting strong. Hold. Take a rest. Woo. Break over. Break over. Shoulders relax, chin down. Breathe, I'm not kidding, legs up. How high, how high, flutter. Now relax the shoulders, relax through the jaw. Let the butt work for it, let it work. Bigger kick. Whew. You're swimming for the exit here. You're swimming for the exit. This is the last chance to really blast some heat into the body. Now just when you think you can do no more, you hold it up, wide, go clapping. And out. In and out. Four more. You can do anything four times. Three more. Chin down. Last one. Legs stay up, arms float back. Chest up, chin down. Feel that intensity. Right down the back. Full rocketeer. And whoo. All right. Hands down. Push back to the chops. Close. Pull the knees. Toes together. And just sit back. Whoo. Did we get a good workout? Did we feel anything? A few things. Whoo. Forehead to floor. Just take a breath. Now let's reach that right arm muscles farther. Stretching through that right oblique, that side body. Other side, reach up. Chin down. Feel that gentle stretching through the side, let it feel good. I made this yoga studio hot. Am I looking red? Now as you come up onto your hands and knees. So start with your hands under your shoulders. To bring the heart right down, we're going to stretch the body. So cat cows, arch your back, the belly high in the spine for cats, and then lift your eyes, chest, and tail for cat. Breathe in, breathe out.
take your right eye to the hip. Squeeze right down the hip, and then back to center. Taking the shoulders and face to the left, squeeze right down the hip, and to the center. Now, let's take the hands just a little farther in front of you. Tuck your toes, and lift your hips for down dog. So your feet hands should be hip width apart. Gently press your chest towards your thighs, just let your heels fall. We're gonna walk the dog, right knee bent, and left leg. Oh, my leg for tick today. Push down, gently. Open your starfish hands, pressing through those hands, stretching through your upper back and your shoulder. All right, now we're gonna let our knees land. Keep your bum in the air. This is one of my favorite poses, puppy pose. Reach your hands as far forward as they'll go. Bum stays in the air. Push your chest down towards the floor. And that's going to create a beautiful stretch in the shoulder. Now, once you get there, breathe into it. Don't be in a hurry to leave this pose. Walk the hands up, coming to camel. So knees just inside the hips, toes together, feet flat. Take your fists behind your hip bones, shoulders roll back, squeeze your butt hard, and push your hips forward. You're going to open through the front of your hips. Now you can lift your eyes if you promise not to drop your head. I'm going to keep that neck safe. Now we're not going to full camel today. We're just stretching through the front of the hip. the chest, sit on down. All right, I want you to take the legs out in front. All right, so it's two seated staff pose. I want you to move your cheeks back. We did a lot of leg work today. So lift your collarbones and just tip your chest forward. But I want some straightness to your back. If you curve your back, it's about the back. I want you to lift your collarbones and just tip forward until you feel a stretch in the back of your body. Right through the back of the legs. Now you can use a strap here. Breathe in and breathe out. You want to pull the feet back for a deeper stretch of the calf. But to advance this, pull your collarbones towards your feet. It's not about getting low, it's about pulling long. Right foot slides down to calf, thigh, or pelvis. Square it up, move the cheek back, reach. And just fall, just feel a gentle stretch in the back of the leg. Now maybe you're up here, that's absolutely fine. Breathe in, breathe out. Stretch, never pain. That being said, if your leg's shaking, it's just really nervous about what just transpired. That's okay, shake is fine. Let's stretch it out, other side. So the other foot comes to calf, thigh, or pelvis. Wherever it feels right for you. Move that cheek back, it's gonna give you a little bit of room. Square the chest, lift it, and then just fall forward, tucking chin. Keep that length to your spine. Now just walk down until you find the edge of your pose, until your body tells you that you need to stop and you need to listen. Follow cobbler pose, take a couple ankles, natural feet. Let them hold out. 
Bring the feet in. Cross legs. Right leg in front. Big breath in. Hands come down through heart center. Feel the warmth within the palms. Breathe in, breathe out. Thank you for joining me today for your one hour Pilates, which is short of an hour. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Leave some feedback. Let me know if you have any requests for future videos. More leg, more butt, more abs. I don't know how, but you never know. I'm like a DJ. I take requests. All right, so I hope you enjoyed your class. I hope you felt it. Now, drink lots of water and keep moving. That's the key. We don't want to turn into the tin man and lock our body up. Tomorrow and the next day, if you really worked hard today, you're going to feel those results coming into the body. You're going to feel that transformation happen. All right, team. So, I hope you enjoyed your workout today. Remember, the playlist is on Spotify, so you can absolutely go on, grab the playlist, turn it up, block me out of it. Have a great day, guys.